welcome to episode two of the all new Hazard Gaming video cast. As promised, any time I get something, I'm going to uh, show it to you, uh, as opposed to just putting it on my shelf and not looking at it at all. So today I've got a few things that I want to share with you. Uh, there was an ad on uh, again on Kijiji, so I responded, and it said a lot of like as in like a lot like auction wise a lot you know anyway uh of car wars stuff and i remember car wars back in the day would have been 1988 1989 something like that car wars came out and i remember enjoying car wars a fair bit i enjoyed making the cars at least the actual playing of it seemed to take a really really long time and not very much happened and when you did try to make something happen you seemed to crash now Again, that's going back now 30 years, so I'm not exactly sure how good my memory is. And, and this isn't really a review of Car Wars. It is just a uh, just to show you what I got. So that's why you got a big old picture of nothing down here. And uh, a little bit of my face, because really, who cares what I look like? We just want to see what the stuff is. So anyway, here's the first thing that I got. So this here is uh, Car Wars. So I'm going to put that fella down there. Hopefully this will work. So Car Wars uh, is, uh, you can admire my bald head while I'm doing this. Uh, so Car Wars originally, uh, I think originally was released in a plastic bag. And, and once again, uh, as before with the box of books, I didn't look at it ahead of time. I just got it and I thought, well, for 20 bucks, it's got to be worth uh, something. So anyway, here's my, uh, my Car Wars. Um, it is, uh, I think these were called Pocket pocket packs or something like that i think originally um steve jackson games uh who is responsible for this you can see it down the bottom there um steve jackson was responsible for um making these games and he thought well if i put them at the counter then people might just sort of buy them on impulse so anyway his first games before he had any um before he had any real uh things to offer were these little games not worth very much money TSR also tried to follow suit. You can look into some of those. But anyway, so we've got these little, what are called pocket boxes, or pocket boxes, I think they're called. Originally, as I say, I think they came in uh, in plastic. But anyway, I've got no idea what's in here, so let's take a look. So uh, here we are. Here's the original Car Wars, or as close to original as I think there is. As I say, I think they came out in little plastic Ziploc bags to start with. But let's have a look and see what's, uh, what's in here. My guess is it feels a little bit hollow. I don't know what's in here. Let's find out. Let's see what it's got. Uh, it's got some rules in it. Uh, no sign of any counters. Maybe they're not like not cut. But judging by the fact the little uh, thing at the top there is oh, it's actually all together. So maybe maybe it is. Everything is in here. So you know we've got uh, the rules. So um, yeah, there we go. We've got the uh, the rules. They look like they're in pretty good condition. Doesn't appear to be any uh, writing in the margins or anything like that. Uh, yeah, so we've got bootlegger reverse. I'll remember that. The bootlegger reverse. That's kind of like what they call the J-turn or something like that. I think like you rip it backwards and hit the handbrake and or go forwards or whatever it is. Anyway, so bootlegger reverse. Uh, these are all the various moves you can do. Um, we can see here we've got uh, some obstacles, some handling, whatever. Producing debris and so forth. All right. Uh, so maybe there's some little debris counters anyway. So there's your rules. Okay, it looks like it's in pretty good shape here. Let's have a look at the middle. Check for uh, rust. One of the things about uh, about buying stuff here in Alberta is there's not generally a lot of rust. And look at that. Looks like as good as the day it was bought. Anyway, so that's that piece. Uh, now there's supposed to be some uh, some maps in here, some like pieces of road. I, just, I looked at some online and they had uh, like tape and stuff holding them closed. But anyway. Um, so we've got here uh, some kind of, ma oh, they're uh, uncut. I guess those dotted lines mean you should cut them. Uh, look at that. It's got some maneuvers, crash tables, skids and rolls. And look at that, uncut. So this is an uncut uh, version. So that's good. I mean, no counters, that's a bit of a problem. But anyway, here we go. Uh, so control table, stock vehicle shopping list. Maneuver chart. So if you roll and stuff happens. So there's some road, I guess, for you to race down with little uh, squares on them. So to monitor your motion. On the back here, we have uh, vehicle planning sheet. So we can plan all of our stuff. You got our car vehicle record sheet and uh, so forth. So anyway, it looks like uh, nothing's cut here. So 
no, but no uh, counters, so that's a bit of a disappointment, I guess. So anyway, the box itself is in pretty good condition. All the stuff's still on it, and we've got a we've got the map, so that's uh, that's good. Um, like I say, this lot was uh, twenty dollars, and so for all for it, I thought, well, I'll pay the twenty bucks, and we'll we'll take our chances, and we'll at least get some fun, uh, have some fun unboxing it. Anyway, um, well, re-unboxing it, I suppose. Uh, and I got another one. Uh, this is part of the same lot for twenty bucks. Uh, so this is called Sunday Drivers. Um, okay, this one. Oh, this one feels a bit squishier. So there might be some bits and pieces in this one if we're lucky. Uh, well, there's Midville. <gasps> oh! Okay, so we got some counters, but let's come back to those in a minute. So Sunday Drivers. I'm guessing these are the expansion rules or something, perhaps. Good staples. Uh, terrain chart and all that. I apologise for having to look at my bald head, but. Uh, I presume you're more interested in what's going on, on the big screen at the moment. Uh, we've got some uh, other bits and pieces here. Uh, rules, special rules, special equipment. All to do with uh, being a Sunday driver, I suppose. Anyway, that's that. Um, yep. Oh, we got some. Oh, we got a uh, a killer RV. Ooh, killer RV. Um, I remember there used to be this uh, program called Battle, Tr well, not a, a movie called Battle Truck. It was actually filmed in New Zealand, which is where I'm mostly from. Um, anyway, so you can make a killer RV. Um, Midville. So I guess that's a place uh, that you can go to. My, if I remember rightly, uh, the backstory is that there was some sort of an apocalyptic event. Uh, and in the process of rebuilding the world, um, one of the things that people decided they were right into was uh, death sports, of which uh, auto dueling was one of them. Fortunately, along with the uh, with the uh, dueling and stuff, they also develop, they developed cloning. So nobody really got hurt. I mean, obviously they got badly hurt and killed sometimes, but like no harm done. They they stored their memories and stuff like that. I think that's how it was all okay. Anyway, uh, so here we've got a uh, Sunday drive. We've got a big a big map here of some kind, uncut by the looks. So this must be uh, yeah 1982. This is look you can see right there. Steve Jackson Games, 1982. Uh, yeah. So school, district offices. So yeah, so it's not like pocket post-apocalyptic uh, everything, but it's uh, certain aspects of it are like, uh, I give us uh, death duels. This must have been right around the time of the Road Warrior Mad Max. Um, okay, the back of this is blank, apparently. Um, anyway, so that's that. That's uh, Midville, or whatever it's called. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time trying to fold that up. I'll do that afterwards. Anyway, so that I'm going to put that over there. Uh, here we got some counters. Now I don't know how many counters there are in this particular expansion. But what I'll do later on when I've got a little bit more leisure time is I'll actually lay these out and I'll see what's there. Maybe there are some of the original Car Wars uh, bits and pieces in this one as well. But anyway, so it looks like all the counters are there, or at least the majority of the counters. Uh, and lastly, we've got a uh, crikey. Okay, you've got another map. It's a pretty big map. So it's I'm going to guess these two go together. Um, yeah, so that must be the other half of the big map, so that's how you can drive around in a town and shoot each other up, I guess. But anyway, so, um, that one there is probably, um, yeah, it might have some extra bits and pieces from the, uh, might have some extra bits and pieces from the other, other from the original Car Wars, maybe? Well, like as I say, I'll have a look uh, later on and try and find out. So that's that, that's Sunday Drivers, put that over there. Uh... And lastly, I've got Truck Stop. Now, Truck Stop has got a... I, didn't, I haven't opened it, but Truck Stop has a problem. Uh, this has come off. I don't know how you put one of those back on. Uh, not with cellar tape or scotch tape or something, as you might call it. Uh, but anyway, so that's going to require a little bit of work. Let's see what's in here. Uh, so that's Truck Stop, so that come off. Oh! Okay, so we've got all the bits and pieces in here. And that actually looks like a lot of bits and pieces. Um... Yeah, I don't know if that's all. I don't know if that's all from one or if that's actually from the Car Wars one as well. Don't know. Um, but as I say, I'll try lay those out and I'll take a photograph and I can include it in the the video here somewhere. So many lots of those. Uh, truck stop. A Car Wars role playing supplement designed by Steve Jackson. 
Uh, the first editor of Auto Duel Quarterly was apparently involved in this. Auto Duel was actually like a magazine, like they continued the conceit of the fact that there was, this was sort of a thing that people did, and they had a magazine for people that did that type of stuff. So we've got Truck Stop, uh, this appears to be in good condition, no writing in it, Repair Chart, uh, Keeping Your Characters Alive, ooh, Characters. If I remember rightly, as time went by they put more and more emphasis on the role playing, so we've got actual characters in here, so that's cool. Ramps, uh, new weaponry. I'm imagining that uh, weaponry was pretty important in this. Uh, rules for oversized vehicles. Uh, arc of fire from back cannons. Movement and so forth. Uh, yeah, so map key. Maybe we've got like a su supplement or a supplemental adventure or something in the back here. Crash table, tractor trailer rigs, minor skid. As a result, same as the tractor rolls, there is a 50% chance that it will catch fire. Okay, so obviously bad stuff happens when you crash your car. Um, cargo, pay, da, da. There we go. All right, so that's that. Uh, and we've got a, oh, a special uh, character sheet, I suppose it is, if you call the car a character. There we go. Terminology for CB slang. Cockroach, a, com a compact car. Cold-shouldered, forced off the road. Cow patties, mines. Cubed, crushed, usually by a collision. Got some handy uh, jargon that you can use there when you're chatting with your auto dueler buddies. It's all of them, look at that. And then you got a tractor, cool, which I think means the rig at the front, but there you go. Um, and lastly, uh, I'm gonna guess this is a uh, map of the truck stop, looks like. Yep, map of the truck stop. Uh, blank on the back. Uh, looks pretty good. Um, here we go. So anyway, it looks to me like, uh, yeah, those are all the maps. The maps appear to be there. And uh, judging by the judging by the thickness of this um, packet here, I'm going to guess that uh, there are a few extra bits and pieces in there uh, that maybe belong to the other one. As I said, I'll, I'll try and figure that out. And lastly, but not leastly, Along with those, I got uh, Dual Track, which I think is like a whole new situation. Now, you can't tell this, but this actually feels very full. So there's a nice big packet of um, cut out pieces of cardboard in there, um, or a whole bunch of maps, or who knows what's in there. Sometimes when you get these uh, lots from role playing, uh, people you find you've got uh, a whole lots of bits and pieces stuck in there that don't necessarily go with the game, but let's have a look. Uh... Oh! Okay, that's that's good. Uh, remember how we were talking about those plastic uh, bags before? Oh, there's a couple of uh, plastic bags in here. I'm not sure what they are. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is... Expansion set five, double arena. Two new arenas for your Car Wars adventure. This includes two double-sided maps, complete instructions, and new full-color dueling vehicles. Okay, so so this has got some vehicles in it too. So let's see, has it got? Uh, yeah, it looks like. Um, actually, I don't want to pull that out of there. Just hang on, might be able to. It's a little bit hard to pull it out. I don't want to rip the bag because I'm sure the bag itself is. You know, part of the, I mean, I, I don't care that much about collections, but, uh, oh, here we go. I'm not going to be able to get it back in on camera. So, uh, anyway, let's have a look. So, we've got here uh, some rules. Extra rules about how to set stuff out, I guess. Regular crisscross. Okay, so this is some kind of a race. You can set your, some sort of like figure eight racing track or something like that. Uh, and then we've got the maps here. No Dumbarton Slalom. I'm going to guess that is. Or something um, Barton. Dumbarton, maybe. Uh, let's find out. Uh, yes. Dumbarton Slalom. Okay, so that must be that, uh, that thing that we were looking at before. Um, this thing right here. That must be like the Slalom, the crisscross or the Slalom, regular, whatever it is. So, yeah, so that's that. So this is not part of it, this is an expansion, this is expansion number five. So it says that there are cars in there, so I'm going to guess that maybe that fat packet has got some of this in here as, as well. Anyway, so that's that. Um, Car Wars 
Expansion set three, a giant city map and new vehicle counters for the car. So there's definitely, but this is for people that want a uh, big game. And you can tell they want a big game because it's in uh, capital letters. So anyway, we've got public parking. Uh, so this must be the, the big, the city that they're talking about, Midville, whatever that may be, wherever that may be. Middle of the country somewhere perhaps. Expansion set three, East Midville. Uh, oh, it's some advertising in here. Anyway, so that's the that's the rules, I guess. And the expansions tells you how to go about uh, how to go about doing that. Um, yeah. So that's that. Um, not really very good at folding it when I'm not looking at the camera, but anyway. Uh, that's that. Uh, we've got here Space Gamer. Space Gamer brings you the very heart of science fiction. Okay, so this here is an advertisement. Cool, there's Ogre. Now these here are actually the games that uh, that I was telling you about. They just put them at the front counter of the, of the shop. And I think actually that Ogre, that they're advertising in here, Ogre, uh, was actually a, uh, a game that they did on Kickstarter recently. Um, and then we've got these big maps here of, of Midville. Okay, these are all maps, but no cars. So my guess is that those cars will be in the uh, in those packets maybe maybe not we'll have to see as I say I'll set them out okay uh, we got the Car Wars supplement oh hello okay we'll leave those for a minute um, Car Wars deluxe supplement Car Wars something other something other so we've got here some sort of tables got some tracks you can set up armor extra bits and pieces this is an excellent condition uh, doesn't appear to be anything missing. The staples are in good shape. Uh, yep, no pages missing. So that's good. All right, so that's in there. So those are the rules. I think those are actually the original rules, so we would expect those in there. Uncle Albert's Auto Stop and Gunnery Shop. Okay, so this is another Car Wars supplement. So it's kind of, I guess it's trying to get those. I forget what the name of the chap is that did those sort of like hot rod type pictures. Remote Control Guidance System, Cyberlink, Long Distance Something or Other. So, ejection seat. So I guess this is just some extra books that uh, the person bought and left in there. Cool. So there's Uncle Albert's Auto Stop and Gunnery Shop, Car Wars Supplement. This is the 2035 catalogue, so in 2035. So we'll, we'll be expecting these things to be for sale in, uh, in approximately 17 years. Uh, another Uncle Albert, this is 2036. This was apparently was 795 at one point. 765 I should say. Free gifts, see page two. What are these free gifts I hear about? Free gifts. Al Un Uncle Al has cornered the mark on these colorful, high quality foam rubber dice. Order 1500 or more and merchandise and you can get this stuff, sweet. Okay, we got some uh, punch brothers, punch with care and make sure your punch is stronger and the other drivers than the other drivers with Uncle Albert's latest research breakthroughs and the choicest of the new releases from other fine manufacturers. Okay, so there's that. So I guess those are bits and pieces you can put on your car, maybe, I suppose. 70 products, too new to be in the last catalog. Uh, okay, so these are the tracks, I suppose. What are dual corners? I guess you could cut those pieces out. But they weren't, so that's good. Uh, we've got some straightaways. More straightaways. No cars though, that's a bit of a concern. Oh, I think I see something. Okay, some more of those. And we have here some cars. So they didn't get cut out either. So we've got all kinds of cars on there. Uh, I would expect the back to be blank and it is. So we got all the cars, cool. And we got some uh, like repair shops and stuff along here, I suppose. And lastly, we have some more advertising. We've got the uh, Steve Jackson Games Isaac Asimov Fall Winter Catalog, 1987. So I guess that tells me roughly when this box was packed. There's the Ogre I was telling you about. GURPS. So this is actually some... Uh, Cool. All right. So this is actually the whole shooting match. Steve Jackson Games catalog. Here's the Auto Jeweler Quarterly I was telling you about. Magazines and so forth. And that's that. So, for 20 bucks, I got far more than I thought I would.
it was worth taking a punt for 20 bucks. Uh, so I got the auto track with all the things in it. I got truck stop with the things coming off the top. Uh, I got Sunday drivers. I got car wars. Not sure about all of the things, as I said. We'll have to have a look. I got uh, car wars expansion number five, and I got car wars expansion number three um, plus. Uh, Uncle Albert's 2035 and 2036 catalogue. So there you go. That's uh, what you get for 20 bucks if you're uh, careful on Kijiji. So until next time, keep talking the walk.